next topic that uh, we will be discussing is about tropical cyclones. Now, before we start with tropical cyclones, uh, we need to understand this term cyclone, right? So, uh, in layman's term, a cyclone is a wind system with low pressure in the center, right? So, what is a cyclone? Cyclone is a wind system with low pressure in its center, okay? What type of wind system? A rotating wind system, right? So, uh, geographically speaking, uh, like the simplistic, most simplistic classification of cyclones, we have the tropical cyclones and we have the temperate or extra tropical cyclones, right? So, uh, generally the cyclones, they are embedded in the respective wind system of the latitudes where they originate, right? For example, the tropical cyclones, they move from east to west and they are embedded in the trade winds of the concerning latitudes, which is the wind system of the related latitudes, okay? So, tropical cyclones are embedded in the trade winds and they move from east to west, whereas the extra tropical or tem temperate uh, cyclones, which originate in middle and higher latitudes, they are embedded in the westerlies, right? And they move from west to east, right? So, generally speaking, the direction is decided by the wind system, prevailing wind system of the respective latitudes. The next point is, the tropical cyclones, they are said to be thermal in origin, right? And they have a warm core. What this means, we will be discussing it later on. Whereas extra tropical cyclones, they are frontal in origin and they uh, originate in the so-called cold latitudes. So, they are said to have a cold core, right? So, in general, if we have to define the term cyclone, it is a rotating wind system with the low pressure at its center, right? Now, what are tropical cyclones? It is a rotating wind system with low pressure in its center and a warm core originating in the tropical latitudes, right? and associated with very high wind speeds, storm surges and thunderstorms, right? So, tropical latitudes, tropical cyclones are found between 5 degrees to 30 degrees of latitude, right? Now, we had done in the previous lecture in climatology section that tropical cyclones do not form at the equator. Why? Because the Coriolis force is zero, right? So, Tropical cyclones, they exist between 5 degree to 30 degree of latitudes. They are associated with storm surges. They are associated with thunderstorms, right? They have a warm core, low pressure at the, in the center, right? So, uh, another thing is that tropical cyclones, they originate over the tropical oceans and dissipate on 
reaching the coastal regions right so the tropical cyclones they originate over tropical oceans 5 degree to 30 degree north and south and they dissipate on reaching the coastal regions we had done in the in the previous lecture that extra tropical cyclones they can form and or exist both on land and sea whereas tropical cyclones they dissipate when they reach the land area and they exist over the oceans only okay so dissipate on land right tropical oceans right another thing is that uh, the tropical cyclones they are embedded in the prevailing wind system of the concerning latitudes which in this case is the trade winds the northeast trade winds and the southeast trade winds therefore their direction of movement is from east to west right tropical cyclones they are anti clockwise if say one views them from above in the northern hemisphere and they are clockwise in the southern hemisphere this is due to the effect of the coriolis force right so these are some certain basic characteristics of tropical cyclones they form over tropical oceans 5 degree to 30 degrees north and south right they have a warm core low pressure they dissipate on reaching the land or the coastal regions they are embedded in the trade winds and their direction of movement is east to west they appear to be anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere due to the effect of the coriolis force now the next subheading is what are the pre existing necessary conditions that are required for the formation of tropical cyclones okay conditions required for formation the first condition is the presence of coriolis force as we have seen as the coriolis force uh is weak or absent in the equatorial region therefore the tropical cyclones do not form there right so <clears throat> presence of coriolis force is one condition second is large sea surface with temperature higher than 27 degree centigrade so a large sea surface area is required with temperatures more than 27 degree centigrade again a feature of the tropical oceans right third is pre existing weak low pressure area is required low pressure or you can say low level cyclones okay so a pre existing weak low pressure area is required uh, for is one of the condition for the formation of tropical cyclones the next is weak vertical wind speeds presence of upper air divergence so as we will be seeing later on this upper air divergence trend tends to strengthen the low pressure therefore the presence of upper air divergence is an important pre existing condition for the development of tropical cyclones so five factors presence of coriolis force to strengthen the cyclone vortex then we have large sea surface temperatures with 
uh, uh, large sea surface area with temperatures higher than 27 degrees centigrade, pre-existing weak low pressure area, weak vertical wind speeds or you can say small variation in vertical wind speeds and upper air divergence, right. So these are the conditions that are required for the formation of tropical cyclones. So next we will be discussing about the formation of tropical cyclones, right. So there are multiple explanations but one that is that has that is accepted is <coughs> now uh, we say that <coughs> tropical is one of the conditions for the formation of tropical cyclones is large sea surface area with temperatures more than 27 degree centigrade and this is satisfied in the tropical oceans between 5 degrees to 20 degrees of latitudes or 30 degrees of latitudes majorly cyclones exist between 10 to 20 degrees right and they are absence at, at the equator where the Coriolis force is zero right. So what happens is in the early stages of formation of tropical cyclones there are multiple thunderstorm areas that combine together multiple thunderstorms they combine together to form an area of intense convection okay. So we had done that one of the conditions for formation of uh, tropical cyclones is a pre-existing low pressure area okay. So this is a thunderstorm can be called a pre-existing a weak low pressure area right. So multiple thunderstorms they combine together to form an area of intense convection right Con convection that is the warm air rises okay. So the air becomes warm it rises.